Good morning, good people. My name is Brother Bill Kraus. I've been a Capuchin for 53 years. And this morning I'm speaking to you from Our Lady of the Angels Friary in Colorado Springs. Our friary is located about 25 miles outside of Colorado Springs, where we work at the Catholic Center, uh, the confessional ministry at the Citadel Mall. Therefore, I have a commute of about 40 to 45 minutes both ways every day from Our Lady of the Angels Friary to the Mall. And for me, it's a new experience. Many of you uh, struggle with commuting every day, but for me, it's the first time in all my years that I've had to have um, a long commute to and from work. Besides uh, the learning of dealing with and um, finding positive uh, benefits in the traffic, I've been able to reflect on a dimension of our early Capuchin Foundation when the friars were to build their friaries, their places of residence, outside of town so that they could go into town during the day and serve the people, but come back at night for prayer and fraternity. The earliest constitutions, that is, our spiritual documents of 1536, say it this way. We order that our places not be taken up too far from the towns and villages, nor be so close that we may suffer detriment from them by too many visits. It is enough that the places normally be a mile and a half away or thereabouts, and always nearer solitary deserts rather than city delights. Such a location made the places of, re of residence close enough to take good care of the people in the cities, but far enough away that they could return home in the evening for the life of fraternity and the life of prayer. There's another value in our Capuchin constitutions, gloriously lived by the Capuchins for all of our history, and that is to live among the people, to share their lives as well as serving them in order to have solidarity with those, especially those who are suffering. So both values are good. Both values are in our constitutions. Closeness to the people, but also a distance for the sake of prayer and fraternity life. So I ask you, our good supporters and friends, to pray for us as we dedicate ourselves to both values, consecrated life, and ministry among God's people. Know that we are also praying for you and your families in all of your needs. Together, let us serve God's people and dedicate ourselves to our spiritual lives. May the Lord give you peace.